Sessions, Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, May 12th. A little bit of risk off uh, in Asia overnight. Old uh, Trumpy uh, said he's not too happy with China. That didn't really help uh, the risk picture. But nothing really too serious going on. We do have... Um, we do have U.S. CPI today, but as we've spoken about, these economic numbers don't really mean too much. Um, Want to keep your keep your eye on um, headlines, uh, COVID nineteen headlines, uh, headlines about perhaps cures. Um, this is really. You know what's driving the bus, and you know how quickly is quarantine going to end, and will we get some sort of vaccine? So that uh, that is what we'll be keeping our eyes out for. Not exactly CPI. Uh, we know all the numbers are pretty much going to suck the duck. So anyway. Uh, let's take a look at the charts here. Not too much to not too much to talk about. Euro down to 84. No one cares. Back to 16 in the middle. Um, interesting uh, that we did take a little visit to that sort of uh, 122.66 level in cable. This line now is moderately interesting just as a support line um, but now we're back in the middle of here again as you can see 123.35 again nothing much to do here dollar swiss uh, we wait took a little took a little voyage up 97.50 trend books core short dollar swiss still uh, the tactical book hasn't traded it in a while, um, mainly because it feels like we're going to break the highs here. Um, so here's a trade idea for you: buy some dollar Swiss through 84, and then through the figure. So stop entry 84, stop entry the figure for a bit of a breakout move. You do some break dancing on the breakout or break some things I don't know we like that uh, as a tactical trade um, when we get up there but again at uh, 97 and a quarter probably not gonna happen today dollar yen's been bid um, screwed up there to um, 107.70 but now we're back at 41 what are you gonna do with this don't really know. The next real important moment is 108.08. Euro yen squeezing a bit, but again, take a look at this on the four hour that gives you a better idea where we are. Yes, we squeeze some shorts, but now we're almost exactly 50%, right? So if you wanted to do your fibs there, um, you'd see. We're right around the 50%. I don't even feel like doing the fibs on this. You can do them yourself at home. Uh, there we are. So, 61.8. It's going to be 107.03. 50% is, uh, I like them apples, 116.50. Uh, nothing much to do here. If you do want to fade that, um, well, you kind of missed it last night, but um, you can fade it again, one one seventeen oh three. Dollars are not doing much. Um, we thought yesterday, risk on, that some of these EM currencies would would strengthen. This is our least favorite, as we said. But sometimes, some sometimes the least favorite one is the one that that turns out to be a good horse. Uh, we are not trading this, but um, 
the support area 18, I don't know, 18, 20, 18, 15. Uh, through that, kind of gets a little bit interesting. Check out the dailies here. You see what I'm saying? Lower highs. Looks like it's turning. Too bad the story is just abominable um, in South Africa. Their bonds are junk. Their leaders are junk. Their economy is junk. It's like a junkyard. It's a shame. Anyway, um, might make some money through this actually, uh, but we're not going to trade it. We, we're, we're just sad about uh, what's going on there. Got up to 65.71 yesterday just to fuck with all the Aussie yen traders. Um, this now is uh, the big resistance up through up through 70 again, and this thing is going to run. The market is short Aussie, according to all the retail platforms. The data we get from different retail platforms, so I would not be surprised if this goes. If it does go, your horse is Aussie yen. Um, this couldn't be any clearer. 7017 is the bingo number. Gold. 9307. We're just stuck around the 1700 level. Sure does look like the longs are going to get their asses kicked. This might be. This might be the trigger. Um, we're not trading much gold these days. Uh, but. Looks like the longs are going to get squeezed. We had Paul, Paul Jones, PTJ, talking his book yesterday on CNBC. Um, turns out he couldn't quite get it through uh, that 10,000 area. Been down to 8,100. Um, Last night, the low was 8,500. You want to buy low ones here. The only thing that you know now that uh, Jones owns whatever 2% of this in his portfolio, which is not a trivial amount, is it just gives you more security that this is never going away. Um, so you want to buy low ones, bottom drawer. Um, what can you say? This is basically the gold trade. Um, but even more volatile and even more insane. So, uh, good luck with that, Bobby. Shit ain't easy. Uh, Euro Norway. Wow. Ring the bell. Uh, 11.01 again yesterday. And then, zzz, bullish engulfed. We're 11.15 now. This thing could go up to 11.20 easily. Uh, you want to sell high ones on uh, Euro Norway. 11 eventually is going to go. Boy, as a, as a technical point, that is, uh, that's a juicy one. So keep an eye on that. Dollar Norway the same. 10.16 now looks like the bingo number. 10.12 we talked about before, but now we've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lows. 10.16. Keep your eye on Euro Norway and Dollar Norway. Um, if you want a currency to own in this craziness where every currency in the world is, is literally shithouse garbage, look no further than our Nordic pals. Uh, we like Norway, as everybody knows. So what are we doing today? Um, not a whole lot at the open here. Um, we'll be watching these, uh, these Aussie levels. Aussie yen, 7017. Um, we may be selling some dollar CAD. We had a bit of a capitulatory bar last night. This one, zzz up to uh, 140.65. That one's going to be a bit of a stinger. Um, so selling dollar CAD uh, is not a bad idea. But we're going to be pretty quiet here at the open. Uh, see if we can get closer to these big important levels. We're watching obviously these Norwegian levels, these Aussie Yen levels. Um, we 
do like short dollar CAD and uh, otherwise we're going to be patient because everything is kind of in the middle of the road. All right, people. Good luck out there. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.